Flying over the central coast of California, you see vineyards stretching across hills and valleys. Get down to ground level, and if you're in the right place, you just might spot a colorful classic tractor rolling along. The driver is Annika Jensen of Santa Margarita, California, and she's taken not one, but two classic tractors to the national finals in the annual Chevron Tractor Restoration Competition. People are so shocked when they find out that I restored two tractors. My sister did it before I did, and I saw what she did, and I really wanted to try it out, so I decided to, and that just got me hooked. I saw that not many gals did it, so I wanted to be one that did it. So I tried and I loved it, so I did it a second year. It was definitely hard, but I liked it. Annika was just 15 years old when she restored her first tractor, a Case DC built in 1945, many decades older than she is. This case is built like a tank because it's all cast iron up here. The whole entire front is. There's very little sheet metal on it. I had to have the magneto service and the starter. This is a PTO wheel to run the belt PTO. I also got these tires donated from Titan Tire. It also has a PTO system back here and a fun little toolbox. So this tractor is, I also had a parts tractor. So this tractor is two tractors put together. So a lot of these different parts are from the previous tractor, like the steering arm up here. I actually had to make because neither one fit on both tractors. They were both so worn out, I had to make that one. It was uh, a lesson in perseverance. A lot of parts frozen up, a lot of, uh, a lot of hours of beating on metal and trying to free up bolts and pieces. But uh, in the end, she learned a lot of lessons, not only about uh, organization and time management, but the mechanical skills to restore a tractor. So this front end was a pain to put together because there's so many different parts. All of these nuts up here were so rusted on, it took me forever to get them off. With, I had to use heat and wax and everything. I actually had to take apart and put the front end together four times because I used a bunch of different parts for, from the parts tractor. And it just took a lot of adjusting to get it all right. So it's a big tractor for sure. And of course it's a old tractor. It took two of them to make one. And uh, so yeah, it was a lot more work, but in the end, it's a beautiful tractor. I'm very proud of her. Like many other young people along the California coast, Annika's work restoring farm tractors got a big boost from the J.B. Dewar Fuel Company based in San Luis Obispo. So J.B. Dewar program is a program for high school kids to restore tractors. It was started by J.B. Dewar, and they really help kids with everything like oil, fuel, they get all the lube and everything to help the kids restore their tractor. Certainly the project is not just a single person project. She's leaning on a lot of people to give her advice and mentor her through it, including her grandpa and uh, Mr. Hartzell, her, her mentor. So uh, yeah, she learned a lot about asking for help and uh, when to ask for help and when she gets stuck, what to do. My dad helped me a lot, my grandpa, my Uncle Mark helped me a lot, J.B. Dewar helped a ton, all the tractor families helped everyone. The DC is powered by a four-cylinder case engine that delivers about 33 horsepower at the drawbar. The tractor weighs more than 5,000 pounds, and Annika has come to appreciate the job Case did in building this tractor. My favorite part about the Case is probably how it's built so heavy duty. And I also think the steering is kind of fun. It's a very wide tractor and I like how wide the back is. And it's just a real fun tractor to drive. I love how loud it is. It's like driving a semi, it's so loud. Uh, it doesn't turn very sharp, but I just love driving it the most. For her second restoration project when she was 16, Annika switched tractor brands and sizes, going for a smaller, newer Massey. So this is my 1964 Massey Ferguson 135. I worked very hard on it, getting all the dents out of the hood, painting it. I had the, I rebuilt the carburetor, got a new exhaust pipe for it, got some new tires for it, donated from Titan Tire. So the Massey 135 has a four cylinder, 2.4 liter, 33 horse engine on it. Very powerful little fast engine. I 
love the Massey Ferguson because it is a perfect little prey tractor. It is so much fun to drive, so quiet. It purrs like a cat. It's so much fun. So this is also gonna be the original seat that came with the tractor. I had painted it up, get all the dents out. Next, I put on the new stickers after I painted on the hood. The Ferguson system is something that it promotes. It has a new coil, a new starter, and also a new governor. I also got the new lines for it, for the power steering. This was, the grill was also a paint to paint cause it's a, like a netting almost. I also hand painted all the emblems. So doing the Massey after the case was a huge help. I learned how to paint better. I knew what I was looking for, how to hear when things weren't running right. It was a huge help. Annika put more than 650 hours into restoring the Massey Ferguson 135, and she was again named a national finalist in the tractor restoration competition, this time traveling in person to Indianapolis for the finals. So in competition with both my tractors, it was a bit different for the case because it was all online, so I didn't get the experience to go in person. And just trying to do the whole Zoom thing, I'm not really a technical person, so that was a bit of a challenge. But going to nationals with the Massey was so much fun. Getting to meet everybody there, getting to see other people who also restored the tractors, it was a lot of fun. Although Annika did not take top honors in her two years competing, both she and her parents believe the skills she gained will pay lifetime dividends. So I learned so much from these two tractor restorations. I learned about time management, how to spend money wisely. I learned a ton of mechanical skills. So apart from the mechanical experience, I learned how to give presentations. I learned how to like write the whole book and that was an experience. I learned how to talk with people and how to interact with other people. But it was very, it helped my people skills a lot. They gained so much experience, not only in time management and organizational skills, but public speaking, being able to uh, organize your thoughts in a record book is very challenging for a lot of these kids. And so, so the tractor is just one part of the, the experience. It's, it's, there's a lot more life lessons to be learned in this whole thing. For someone who's looking to doing a tractor for nationals, I would probably tell them to do it. It's, you can't beat the experience. It is so much fun. So just, you learn so many new skills that help you in the real world. You just gain that experience of how to do things like this. These days, Annika is on to her next challenge, training to become a firefighter. Even though she's not working on tractors at the moment, she says the two she restored are going to stay right where they are. So I'm gonna hold on to both these tractors because I put a bunch of work into them and time and I really bonded with them and I just don't see myself getting rid of them. I think it's extremely important to preserve this history because this is what, you know, someone invented these tractors and I think it's important to keep that in the world today. Old tractors are nice and so are new tractors but someone worked hard for these tractors. Hey, thanks for catching Classic Tractor Fever. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel right here on YouTube. You can also find even more videos and branded merchandise over on our website, ClassicTractorsTV.com. Now don't forget, hit that like and subscribe button.